Yosef here with uh, Enigmatics Nomadics. Uh, this is uh, one last day before the end. I wanted to take you to uh, a quick tour. Take two. <laughs> Bye, Steve. You're the man, bro. I'm gonna stay in touch. We'll All right. Again next year. All right. Well, we're uh, we're losing people every day. Everybody wants to go back home. We we have this silly man over here. I think I've introduced you. The best designer out here. What? They didn't teach me their sign language. They, they keep me out of the loop. You know, management, whatever. But yeah, we're uh, we're just, we're gonna take any small jobs we can get tomorrow morning and then wrap it up and clean up and try to blow the dust out of our equipment and ourselves and uh, a lot of tearful hugs. I'm, I am gonna miss these men and women out here. They are so awesome. Just leave them alone and let them fly and I think if we count by, you know, Jamie said one job per customer. We didn't, we weren't really swamped enough, so we just took them all. And I think if we count one per customer, we've probably completed around 70 out here. It's so, uh, and, and it's all these people. I just stayed out of the way. <laughs> and then in the background of the, there is uh, one. Is yeah, that's uh, Lyra. Uh, we did that. We've done the complete build for her. Uh, the people uh, here were very generous in donating, donating around $1,100 to her cause. So she's got a complete van build out, complete uh, electrical system, a uh, small water system, and uh, what else? electrical build out water. I think that's that's probably about all that little car can handle. <laughs> so she's got a little bed in the kitchen. And, uh, Oh well, yes, and we uh, we have enough money left over that she can buy a refrigerator. So she rolled in here with some junky bed platform and almost nothing else. And thanks to the generosity of the people out here, she is she, her life's going to change a lot. And we're just thrilled that we could be a part of making it happen. And and we're all crazy about Lyra too. She's very nice. To be. We're going to miss her. She's our camp mascot. <laughs> So this is where you work with your team, uh, Bill? Yes, this is where we do our solar installations. These guys are all volunteers. This is uh, Neil right here. He's one of our technicians. This gentleman over here, that's Paul. And uh, first time they're volunteers, first time this year. And they're doing an excellent job, a real good job. And um, you've been working uh, a lot, right, for, since the, the beginning of the, the van build? But, yeah, uh, I've been here from the first day. And uh, we all work together and we get solar done for people that don't have the ability to do it themselves or don't have the resources. So uh, we just jump in and they, we got a list and we just get about two jobs done a day. And so far we've gotten about 12 jobs done. And we're, we're going to be wrapping up here in a few days. We got most everything scheduled out. Like I said, we're all working together. So we got cooks, we've got volunteers, we've got professionals, and we're training new people. The new people that came in here, they just walked in wanting to work. They were interested in it. And in a few short weeks, they can do their own installations now and help other people. They'll probably be back next year, maybe as a team leader themselves or they can go out and get a job with a solar place from what they learned right here. Yeah, so this this is an important aspect also of that Van Bill that we don't right. really it's also, talk about. It, it's like a school too for people that are interested in this, that want to learn, we'll teach them, and then they can go out and teach somebody else. For free. For free. Yeah. Or then if they leave here, they can go to any solar place and say they worked here, right, and now they got experience so they can be gainfully employed doing, you know, something they like. So it's like a, it's a school too. So it works so many different ways. It's kind of mind-boggling in a way. So everybody goes away and learns something. Everybody helps everybody else here, and um, it's 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 a good idea. It's a great experience. Uh, tell me, Steve. Uh, the, we're one day away from uh, the end of the van build and Thanksgiving. You've been uh, working on uh, on a number of projects. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think me and the other guys put in. I think 20 fans in the different vehicles. Uh, started out doing three a day. We just did two today. I got two lined up for tomorrow. We're not done yet. And so how was this experience for you? I'm already planning on being here next year, so I would say I had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we worked a lot, but there's a, 
I didn't see it. Uh, anybody walk by that wasn't smiling, saying hi, stop in to chat. And of course, uh, my bus is sort of a landmark being the only blue bus here. Not, not to mention the flag and the dragon that I have up. That I've had a few people tell me I can't take it down because that's how they find their rig. So Exactly, this is how I uh, situate myself in the, in the whole camp. It was a pleasure meeting you. And you too. We do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Though I, I, we wouldn't have done this at... More in the front. Yeah. Uh, we wouldn't have done that in the beginning. We would have just said, okay, wait till the end. The beginning's for curtains. Yeah, yeah these are just the uh, kind of a leftover jobs, you know. As, and, uh, the, as we're winding down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The away from things. Small jobs. Small. Small, small. Yeah, we've been pretty much out straight. Do we have a count? We're somewhere around 150 different jobs. Each one is a custom job. Each one is different. Each one is... You know, a lot of work. Can you uh, can you uh, mention a few uh, interesting ones or otherwise? Let's see. We have done slippers, slippers, repair hats. Um, what else have we done? Lots and lots and lots of curtains, all cut to different sizes. Uh, what else have we done? Cushions. Lots of cushions. Yep. Uh, buttons. Yeah. We do. <laughs> Have we mentioned curtains? <laughs> did we do curtains? I know somebody else so did you? We did some, uh, oh, we repaired some awnings. Yep, we had to do some patching. Yeah. Including on this one because it was pretty windy for us. And we uh, resized some mattress covers. Yeah. Yes. And Which was a lot of work there. And then the, the um, solar panel carriers. Yep, making some totes for solar panel because somebody needs help bringing them inside. And uh, working together. Um, it's, it's, it's a neat, an interesting challenge. Um, nothing is the same. It doesn't get boring um, because nothing's the same. It gets sometimes a little too challenging, but uh, <laughs> we work through it. You know, we pick our brains together and we do manage to work through it. Nobody's in, nobody's in charge, no. but, but she's probably I, I the head. Uh, I, was, I was here first. This is, you know, my, this is her setup. This is my setup, and we've just sort of, you know, everybody come in, we squeeze over a little bit more, put up another table or share a table, and next person comes, we squeeze <laughs> a little bit more, and we just, as more people come, and and everybody has a different set of skills, and and it varies from day to day. Um, you know, some days you're just burnt out and you go, you do it. Um, other days, you know, you're right on top of things and like, yeah, I got this, um, but. It's, you know, it's it's all been pulling together. It's been incredible. It's a really, really incredible experience. Absolutely. And it's so good to be a part of something that's so much bigger than yourself. You know, like you said, the giving. It's magical. Yeah. And um, and we've had things given to us, and then yeah. we can give things to other people. And oh, yeah, we've had, not, we've had a lot of donations from a lot of people. Yeah. And um, so a lot of people didn't have to go out and buy fabrics and, and such because we had something here that they could use. And we've used a lot of that, and that's been such a big help. And we don't have a whole lot left, there's just a couple left. And um, that's worked out well, and sometimes we take pieces of it and turn it into yeah. other things, uh, bindings and such. And um, and we had somebody donate their cooking for a while, that was very Oh helpful. my goodness, that was, that that was, was nice. awesome, yeah. You know, here, his lunch, it's like, oh, you're kidding me, <laughs> this is so great. Um, and it's, that's the thing is, you know, the, it's all a big circle. If everybody gives what they're able to give, and it's a simple thing sometimes, you know, like, hey, I can make you sandwiches so we can keep working. Because yeah. if we have to break down and go make lunch, you know, we're all divided up here and there, and, and then you have to clean up, and then you have to get back to, you know, you, you just lose your momentum. But if, you know, somebody hands you lunch, and you can, you know, just eat your lunch really quick and then move on, we get so much more done. So I don't, don't think people realize the... The little things really yeah. count as much as the big ones because it's all part of that same circle. You know, we can do this so that they can do that so that they can do that, and it all comes back around. It's you know, it's it really is a, a beautiful thing. What would be the difference you'd say between uh, this and a professional setting? Oh, less wind, <laughs> less sand, dust. Yeah, <laughs> less dust, less less but, dust. But but we get to work outside. Who gets to work outside? And in, in you know. 
a machine, you know. We get a pretty good view. I, I've worked at places where you sew and you're not working outside. I mean, this is beautiful here. It is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, and and you got fresh air every day. A professional setting also has to, when you say professional, it brings the money into it. And, and this way, it's like we come to work when we want to, we leave when we want to, we take breaks when we want to, and it's it's just what we're giving, you know? And nope. yet the job is done. And, the job is done. Okay. And, the, and when you give a gift, you oh. want to give the best. You know, yes. when if you're just working at a job, you would just it's like yeah, get, get it done, make. get out of here. And so and that boring. that also makes it shiny and special, I think. <laughs> yeah. The, the same for the creativity, perhaps. Yes. Or oh, like yes. The fact oh, yeah. that uh, different yeah. persons are allowed to give their opinions. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Because if you are sitting down at a job, they don't want you talking because you're not getting enough work done. But yet, on the other hand, if you can talk to other people, not only do you feel good about it, you have more energy, you, you know, you pull energy off of other people, but you get the better ideas out there. Oh yeah. And you get like everybody tosses their idea into the pot and then we all agree which one's the best idea. Right. You know. You know, and it's or it's, we might pull a little bit. It's been each, yeah, a little each. bit of the here, a little yeah. bit there, or that's not working. Let's see how can I you know and redo it. We figure it out. We we absolutely figure it out. But if you are sitting at your corner here and they're at their corner over there, and if you get caught talking you're in trouble, you know, yeah. who who loses? And this without too many ego issues. We really haven't had a problem we with that. Had we really haven't. Issues. We haven't been along, uh, 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 together long enough for that to develop yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you see this as an interesting model, perhaps for uh, the rest of the type world? Of society? Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's so much better. I mean, yeah. it, everywhere we go, we walk around and. and Everybody is, hi, how you doing? And everybody's, oh, you know, you want to see my rig? And everybody has something. I was talking to somebody earlier today, and she says, oh, yeah, I've been checking out different rigs and, you know, kind of get an idea of what I want to do. And she says, everybody has got something unique. Mm -hmm. You know, even if some of the other things are, are repetitive, and because somebody had a really good idea, and why change it? Um, they have something. It's like, wow, I never thought of that. I've never seen that anywhere. Everybody's got something. And perhaps the, the people themselves uh, discover this uh, to their own surprise. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And what happened with us here too is we were all thrown together not knowing each other at all. And it organically grew that this one does this and that one does mm -hmm. that and that. You know, it, w it was an organic blossoming, which is so much better than saying, this is what you have yeah. to do, this is what you have to do, this yeah. is what And that doesn't work because you can learn something from every, from other people, but you also, I'm not sure how to express this. Uh, everybody has something to give, everybody has something to learn. Amy's at a loss for uh, words. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on the calendar. Jack. Put it on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> uh, I was going to want to mention that talking about the giving, um, we are working on um, a little bit of the, the van giveaway that they're giving away, and we needed spray adhesive, some kind of spray glue. So I walked down the road looking pitiful with these two pieces of foam <laughs> and I, I didn't get very far and I asked do you guys have a, a, a spray of glue and she goes oh yeah yeah and then somebody else had another piece of foam if that would work better it's like you just have to yeah. you just be walk down the road there. and you'll there. get it what you comes. need it's it just all comes yeah kind of crazy that would be impossible in the real world I know. absolutely I, I know. know I know this was possible in the villages yeah but Perhaps this, so in this the tribes. Yes, right, this is yes. the tribe. This and is this, the real world. This oh, is there a, is the fake world. <laughs> you know, you're right. You're right. You really are right. It is. This is it, and that's fake out there because everybody's pretending to fit in, whether they do or don't. Yeah. And uh, hey, I'm done. I'm done pretending. <laughs>